Grade 5 math number 6.2 use models to subtract on like denominators. Models can help us subtract small fractions with different denominators. The models can show us the difference of two fractions. In this one, we have 9 twelfths take away 2 six. We can see that it's 5 twelfths because here's our 9 twelfths. We have our twelfths bar, 9 are filled in, and we're going to take away 2 six. So we lined up 2 six next to it, and we can see that it lines up perfectly with 5 twelfths. So we know that the answer, the difference, is 5 twelfths. In this one, we have 7 eighths, and we're going to take away 2 sixteenths. And we can see that the difference is going to be 6 eighths, or it's going to be 12 sixteenths. See? It shows us the difference. In this one, we've got 4 fifths, take away 4 tenths, here's 4 fifths, here's 4 tenths. We can see that there's 4 tenths left over, or 2 fifths. We can even subtract mixed numbers. We can take a mixed number and take away a fraction. 1 and 1 sixth, this big yellow piece, is 1 with 1 sixth on top of it, minus this half. We can line up the thirds bar and the sixths bar, and we can see that they line up perfectly, that it's either 2 thirds or 4 sixths. See? The difference is 2 thirds or 4 sixths. So, this is useful if the denominators aren't too big. 17 29ths would be too difficult of a model to make because the pieces would be too small and we'd have too many lines to be accurate. But for fractions that have denominators less than 12, it can help us visualize what's happening. So in order to do this unit, you're going to need to make yourself some paper or card fraction strip models and measure carefully because things like tenths and twelfths are almost the same size. You want to make sure that you're really dividing these equally into ten parts and equally into twelve parts and make, you know, a few that are one whole so that you can use them to line up. Maybe you can even make a few of each, okay? So you're going to need these to do this unit in the book and I hope this was helpful. Now you know how models can help us subtract unlike denominators. See you next video. Bye.